Hello and welcome. This is a short tutorial for primary school teachers that uh, explains what the intention behind this little web game is that we have developed for phylogenetic placement. So the key take-home messages from this uh, little web server are that well evolutionary or phylogenetic trees that show the evolutionary relationships between distinct species are important and can be used to accomplish a variety of things. Um, the other take-home message is that in modern biology the usage of computers and bioinformatics methods uh, is very very important. So the setup of the whole web game and of this exercise is <clears throat> that the following happens like a, a poor bird as shown in this picture here is struck by an aeroplane and the wildlife management of the airport wants to figure out what kind of bird species that was to derive uh, specific measures in order to drive this bird away from the airport and protect both the bird and the aircraft. So and this is the kind of the key idea of the fundamental idea of this method that is called phylogenetic placement that we developed around 10 years ago. So what you're given is an evolutionary or phylogenetic tree of known species. So here represented by abstract species 1, 2, 3 and 4. And so those species are known, you know the morphology, you know um, their taxonomic classification, etc. And now, evidently, as not much of this poor bird will be left in the engine, you cannot identify the bird that was struck by the engine morphologically. So you have to take whatever remains of this bird and sequence it to generate a DNA sequence. Uh, and we evidently do not know to which bird species it belongs to. So now the key idea is to take this anonymous sequence, which we also call query sequence, and essentially ask the tree to which part of it this sequence best fits. So if the sequence, if the bird sequence fits into this branch here, then we would say that it must be closely related to species number one. If it falls into this branch, it must be closely related to species number two, etc. So what we're doing is that we're taking the DNA sequence from this anonymous bird and from this anonymous unknown bird and we place it into this phylogenetic tree to identify the closest relative and thereby hopefully be able to identify the bird species. So in reality or in biology, typically this is also done, uh, this kind of phylogenetic placement procedure is done with bacterial sequences which are evidently very tiny and very hard to identify morphologically and so in typical samples there won't be only one sequence as this one bird sequence but maybe millions to billions of different bacterial sequences that we wish to identify by means of this phylogenetic placement method so by placing them into a tree with known bacterial species. All right, so now maybe we can move over to our little web game. So what we have here is a phylogeny showing the evolutionary history of birds around the world. So this is a sample of bird species across the globe. And the phylogenetic tree you can see here is actually or has been computed on real data publication dating back to 2014. So what you would first want to do with your students is to scroll through this tree, uh, understand the concept of a phylogenetic tree, and what you get here when you do mouse over is that you get a larger picture of the specific tree located at the branch of the, at the leaf of the phylogenetic tree with some additional information. All right, so um, I think I moved forward a little bit. This is too bad. So now we can actually start um, our phylogenetic placement. Now here I'm on the Greek page, so let's go back to the English page. Okay, 
So now that we've understood the concept of a phylogenetic tree, let's move over to DNA. So here we'll just say that our colleagues at the airport obtained a bird sample from an airplane. And then this was taken to a molecular biology lab and we got the respective sequences. And now those sequences, by placing those sequences onto the tree, we want to identify the respective bird sequence. So we've introduced the concept of a phylogenetic or evolutionary tree. Now we need to talk a little bit about DNA sequences. So that would be the next step. What are these sequences? Um, and here we just say that, well, after sequencing, we can imagine the DNA being like a word comprise, comprising the letters A, C, G, and T. So here you can then just see like a part of the DNA of the brown pelican. Now we know what DNA is. Let's go back. And now we have to place the sequences. And the important uh, message here is that those sequences uh, are being placed, so those sequences of letters are being placed onto the phylogenetic tree using computational methods. Uh, just an algorithm which can be easily explained um, at second grade, like by telling the students that the, what they use when they are doing like a more complex addition is also just an algorithm. Now, if we click on those sequences, evidently because um, the students cannot do the calculations themselves, they get a number of bird species here, the pictures of the bird species that need to be placed onto the tree. So we have eight sequences in total from birds that collided with aircraft that um, shall be placed on the tree. And then now what happens is that, well, we um, get a question mark here in this part of the tree and the students should look at the morphology evidently of the different bird species that have been sequenced and guess which bird species it could be. So this is the correct one. I will just put this here. So click on it and then it will tell me that we have successfully placed the common ostrich. Then you can scroll down here and look for the position of the common ostrich. Here it is. So what you can do then um, is to learn more about this bird. So we state here that, well, the students are great researchers and our computer analysis confirms that the birds, that the bird should actually be placed into that part of the tree. Then they can learn more about the birds. So this is the ostrich. And now we can go back. So we can continue with another phylogenetic placement. Um, maybe let's pick this one here again and then place a, an incorrect bird into that branch. So this one here, for instance, then while well, we they get a little message telling the students to try again uh, and that it was the wrong bird. And we click again here to return to the main placement menu. And um, I think this is it. So I hope that this was helpful and uh, we will be glad to receive comments uh, from you in order, order to further improve uh, this little tutorial for teachers.